another day another travel what's up guys welcome to part three this is music m so this is me leaving now scotland edinburgh heading over to manchester city so yeah ride with me another day another train ride coffee as always me creating content for you guys and myself really it's all about me so this was a four hour train drive or train ride rather sorry so when i go to manchester first thing i saw was money yeah manchester feels very rich like london to me would be johannesburg manchester would be cape town it just has this other level uh, of richness to it uh, that's manchester that's how it felt to me but i didn't stay there long enough um, for a proper assessment i only spent a night um a day and a night in manchester so yeah, uh, he has me walking, looking for a place to eat. Let me just walk you through the streets of Manchester and let's find something to eat. I was hungry. So yeah, I found this Nigerian spot and had some jollof rice. But this feels like some new school jollof rice, like it's not the, the jollof rice. So yeah, this is inside of the hotel that I booked. So it's, it feels more like an Airbnb, but I booked on bookings.com. Um, so it's an apartment in Manchester, also a walking distance from the train station so yeah welcome to my home for the night the apartment So this one cost me 74 pounds, um, uh, that's equivalent to 1,778 1, rands for a night and this was worth it. So yeah, this is the lobby downstairs. And yeah, what else do you do when you're in Manchester besides go see Old Trafford, the soccer stadium? Uh, so this is me at the stadium. I booked a tour online for the stadium. And I'll just put the price here. So this tour includes the museum in the stadium. So this is obviously Manchester United Museum. Uh, you can walk through the museum, see trophies um, and just all sorts of stuff. They have t-shirts, jerseys that they worn, etc, etc. And um, as you can see here, so this is the museum part of it. You can see all the legendary players that have played for Manchester City or Manchester United. 
I'm not a big soccer fan. Actually, I'm lying. I am not a soccer fan at all. Okay, this was my cousin's idea and then he bailed out on me. So I ended up doing Manchester anyway, which was dope. Um, but unfair because I met there's plenty of people who would kill to to come and see the stadium and I get to do it and I've never watched um, a Manchester game or So this is the actual stadium. This were the dressing rooms. These are the actual dressing rooms because we did ask the top guide if the dressing rooms that they bring us to are the actual ones used by the players or these are just for show. And these are the actual dressing rooms where the players sit and, and change. That is our talk guide right there. Now I might not be a soccer fan, but I am a fan of history. And it was very interesting to learn the, hit the history behind the team, behind the stadium itself, and um, on how it was rebuilt after it was bombed during a war. Um, so yeah, the history behind it was very interesting and also just learning the nuances and the rules of the stadium uh, those kind of things do interest me so i did have a good time on the tour it's not like i was bored and also because i understand what this means to a lot of people i mean soccer is a passionate sport and the fans are very passionate about the soccer in friend in fact when i was at the stadium um there's a shop um when you leave that sells like merch merchandise clothing the t-shirts and jerseys a friend of mine ended up sending me eight thousand rand to buy him three t-shirts so as so i get the passion and therefore I did, I did not take the tour for granted. I did have an amazing time. And then I walked around Manchester. Like I said, I was only in Manchester for a day and one night. So I got dinner, took a couple of pictures, tried to walk around as much as I can. And yeah, so let's look at the pictures. Okay, that was the last picture. <laughs> But yeah, so that wraps up part three of my trip in the UK. Uh, we started off in London. We headed up to Scotland, came back down to Manchester, and then all the way back to Heathrow Airport, where I made my journey back home in Sada. So yeah, thanks. Subscribe, like, share music.